How's it going guys? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here once again. I want to bring you in another great product review here today. It's something that I literally just picked up. So I guess you could say it's a little bit more of a product preview more than a product review. But something that I'm super excited to talk about, super excited to add to my backpacking system, and super excited to add to my through hiking system. So that being said, I wanted to present to you the MSR Titan Kettle. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, like I said, this is a product preview of the MSR Titan Kettle. I'm going to go over all the specs, all the details, why I decided to get this, as well as uh, how I'm going to be putting together my whole cook system to make this a real complete set that I, that I desire. So okay guys, this is MSR Titan Kettle, their ultralight titanium kettle. This is a 0.85 liter pot, so a little bit less than one full liter. It has a, it has just simple little handles on there. The lid up on top here has a silicone covered handle, making it a little bit easier to grab. And what I really like about this top lid is that it is a, it is a nice snug fit. So you, as you can see, I'm just holding the lid by itself and the whole uh, kettle stays attached. So really good on their part. If you look up on the top of the lid right there, you can see there is a little bit of a spout in the kettle as well. A uh, really nice little feature. Number one, it's going to release some of that steam pressure so it doesn't build up inside the cook pot itself. And as well, if I do have to pour out water, uh, drinks, so on and so forth, uh, this makes it super easy to, so I don't have water kind of emptying out on all the sides of the cook pot itself. So being titanium, of course, I'm going to have one of the lightest weight options that I can possibly purchase. So MSR lists this to be 4.2 ounces. Now, I recently weighed this on my kitchen scale. It came out to 4.3 ounces, but I'm hoping that with the removal of the label itself, obviously, I don't want to keep this on when I'm actually using it. Um, I'm going to drop down that 0.1 to get it to that nice, solid 4.2 ounces. Incredibly nice and lightweight. If you look on the bottom of the cook pot itself, there is kind of this indented ring. Now that is specifically designed with the cook pot itself. They do that so when the, uh, the heat is focused on the bottom of the pot, it kind of centralizes it, which just increases your boil time efficiency. Um, the fact that it's titanium and will transfer the heat so rapidly already, um, which means my boil time is going to be very, very quick. Um, even just little subtleties like that to increase the, the efficiency a little bit more, good on their part. Now, so this is a nice wide cook pot. In fact, it's big enough and it's also deep enough to allow a full 8 ounce uh, isobutane canister to fit inside. Um, one thing I will tell you is make sure you take off that plastic cap that comes with it. Otherwise, the plastic cap creates just a little bit too much room so the lid can't snugly fit back on. So a little tip for you guys if you do decide to get the MSR kettle yourself. So drop it in. I do recommend to put some kind, of, uh, some kind of microfiber towel in there just so it doesn't scrape up and create all that clacking sound while you're trying to hike. Again, take that plastic piece off to give you enough room. And then from there, the lid should fit on without a problem. Nice and simple. So yeah, guys, that's about it. There's really not a whole lot to it. It's just a simple little kettle uh, made out of titanium, so incredibly lightweight yet incredibly strong as well. Um, I will probably be looking forward to making uh, one of those koozies um, out of Reflectix just so as I'm boiling uh, or cooking my food, you know, I can put my food into there, put the koozie around it, and just let it cook inside so I'm not burning more fuel. Um, yeah, that's going to add another ounce or two onto my weight. But I'm already decreasing my, uh, my overall weight from my previous cook pot by a solid like four or five ounces just with this alone. So I'm not too worried about adding another ounce or two. So big reason why I wanted to get this cook pot is for the obvious reasons, it's very lightweight. You know, for the most part, I'm not even cooking food inside my cook pot. Um, I'm literally just boiling water, putting the food in and just letting it sit there and rehydrate. So to simplify things, to get better boil time efficiency, um, and as well just to try to trim the weight wherever I can, uh, just a nice quick, just a nice quick pickup. 
Now, certainly this does not come with the secondary mug. That's something that does come with my cook pot that I'm currently using. So I need to get a secondary mug. So to complete my whole cook system, to keep it really nice and lightweight, but to have the flexibility and versatility that I wanted, I decided to pick up one of the Seat to Summit uh, X cups. So everybody knows these things, those collapsible cups, you know, just made out of food grade silicone, simple, nice and lightweight. It just collapses down to be nice and small. So that way I can have my morning coffee, have my morning breakfast kind of thing. Uh, if I have to scoop water out of the stream as well, I have a small little cup I can utilize for that. You know, again, just make sure that I have the versatility, the, the cup, uh, the full on cook pot and everything as well, just to, you know, give me, give me some options there. Now, the reason why I wanted to get this guy instead of getting like another titanium cup that can possibly insert is because this guy right here obviously packs down to be incredibly well. Uh, I can drop this down into the bottom of the cook pot, put my fuel canister up on top, and it all just kind of nests together, which is great. Now, if I decide to do that nesting system with a full 8-ounce canister, the lid won't fit snugly enough. It's just a small little gap. It's unfortunate. Um, but not a big deal. I can always put a rubber band around it or I just go with the smaller size fuel, ca fuel canisters to make sure that that fits and then possibly I might have enough room to also fit my stove. Otherwise, I'll be able to fit like uh, washcloth, scrub pad, that kind of thing, some other little eyes and ends inside there. So yeah, guys, that's about it. You know, put it all together here. Um, that little X cup weighs only 1.5 ounces. Uh, this guy, 4.2 ounces, so really nice and lightweight. It's just over five and a half ounces total, which is awesome. Uh, so five and a half ounces total, that's a solid four ounces lighter than my previous cook pot. I know it's only four ounces, but if I can trim the weight in small little subtle areas where I can, it adds up to be a lot more. And that way, adding some additional things to my through hiking gear list It'll kind of help make up the difference so, I so, uh, so that I stay right along the same uh, comfortable weight that I'm currently residing at. So yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, MSR Titan Kettle, uh, 0.85 liters, comes in at 4.2 ounces and retails for $59.95 down at your local REI. Titanium, lightweight, uh, really nice and incredibly nice and lightweight, very nice and versatile gets the job done. I am so looking forward to testing this thing out on the trail um, and utilizing this on my 2018 Appalachian Trail through hike. So thank you guys so much for following along. I hope this gave you some good information if you're uh, doing some research of your own into cook pots to go with, um, especially for you fellow through hikers if you're going to be looking to trim down some weight and looking to go uh, switch up your cook system a little bit. Definitely something worth taking a look at. MSR makes excellent, excellent products. Um, they also have excellent protection plans that go along with all their stuff. Uh, really one of my top, top flight uh, name brand products that I love to talk about. So thank you guys. Thank you guys again. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my videos. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment or a question. Don't forget to check out my Instagram page. The link is in the description. Catch you guys on the next video, next adventure. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out.